This week, I'd like to share with you a true story about something that happened to me just a couple of weeks ago. It involved a very angry taxi driver being annoyed with me in a car park not far from here. And I think it's an experience we can all learn from. My name is Jonathan Bradshaw and welcome to this week's Meetology Minute. Yes, I hope you don't mind me this week sharing this story. We can learn from it just as we learn from the normal insights from behavioural science. But it's a story, a real true experience I had a couple of weeks ago in a car park at Gatwick Airport. For those of you who saw my Meteorology Minute a couple of weeks ago, I was in Dublin, so I had to fly from Gatwick. I parked in the short-term car park. And as I pulled in, um, there was a very limited amount of space, and I ended up being next to, very close to, a concrete pillar. You know, you have them within the car parks. I was literally an inch, three centimetres, on the left-hand side of my car. But I could still get out, but I did have a bit of trouble parking, and it was really tight. I had to pull my wing mirrors in when I went in. The actual story happened 24 or so hours later. I got back from Dublin, I landed, and I came up to my car and there was a car with its lights on in front of me. So not either side, but at the end of my bonnet, at the end of the, uh, the sort of the space at the end of the car uh, in front of me. And there was a man looking down between his car and my car. It was a taxi, the lights were still on, and this big man was looking down. And I thought, what's he looking at? Has he hit me? So I put my stuff in the back, put, took my sh uh, jacket off, put it on the back seat, and I thought I'd better look as well. So I walked up just to see what he was looking. He was just walking away. He was very aggressive to me. He said, don't worry, mate, I haven't hit you, but you've driven your car a foot, a foot, was that 30 centimetres, into my space, and I can hardly fit. Now, I haven't got the worst temper in the world, but like anybody, I don't like being spoken to like that. And I didn't know what to do. And I realised, I mean, you realise how quickly thoughts go through your mind when you look back. I could get into an argument or I could not. And I did the latter. And do you know what I said to him? I looked down and I said, do you know what, mate? You're absolutely right. I apologise. I mean, he was right. I did had misjudged it. I was over by, yeah, that much. So it made it hard for him to park his car. What happened then was quite incredible. Because I got back in, I said, I apologise, got back in my car, and then he waved at me, and I thought he wanted to carry on the argument. And I was just starting my car up, and he said, he sort of waved at me quite in an alarming way, and I thought, oh, God, I don't want to have an argument. I opened the window, and he said, mate, watch it. You're going to hit your wing mirror on the concrete pillar that you're parked next to. Now, as I got back in the car, I put my wing mirrors out and I was just about to go back. I was a few centimetres from literally wiping my left wing mirror off. Would have completely bashed it off. There's no way that man would have said that to me had I not apologised. He was in a really foul mood. He was really quite aggressive to me and annoyed. And I just thought, isn't that funny? The conversation, the social interaction could have gone that way. And instead, it's gone that way. And by doing so, it saved me a lot of money on repairs on my car because this man suddenly was nice to me. Getting into arguments, sometimes it's inevitable. We can't avoid conflict all the time. But that lesson, I hope, and you, I'm sure, got have you in your own life got experiences where choosing not to confront someone to avoid conflict can be a great thing when it comes to social interaction. This week, try and avoid it where you can. I'm sure there'll be a number of times where should you choose to, you could engage into it. Let's try not to. I'll be back next week with some more meteorology, the science powering world-class people skills. Have a great week. See you in seven days. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.